Hey, it's Stella, and today I want to talk to you about how to feel uh, or how to get more appreciation at work. When you're not feeling appreciated, it's really demoralizing, and it's so easy to start to resent your boss, your job, and want to just leave altogether because you're not feeling seen and your strengths aren't being acknowledged and you're working your butt off and 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 for what right so i totally get it and uh, i just talked to two clients about this in the last 48 hours so i thought i have to do a video about it so i'm going to talk to you about both situations one situation um a client of mine we'll call her casey because uh I want to maintain her privacy. Uh, Casey is a very senior uh, developer and she um, feels like her boss gives her very little attention, very specific, very little feedback on her work and doesn't tell her what she's doing well. And I asked her, well, what does what does her boss do? Like, what are her responsibilities? And it turns out that uh, this boss actually oversees a very large team of people and she is not technical. She is more sales oriented. And so I asked her, well, does your boss even have the technical chops to be able to even give you the feedback that you're looking for? And she realized, oh, uh, not really. So in this scenario, uh, Casey was looking for feedback that this manager wasn't really capable of giving her. So that was what, so then I asked her, well, Casey, who on your team does have the appropriate skills and knowledge to give you the kind of feedback that you're looking for? And so that's when she identified other collaborators who do have the level of expertise, who would be better served for her to seek feedback from. So, so we identified the appropriate person and it actually wasn't her boss. So I guess my question to you is, um, who, are you ask, who are you looking to get feedback from? And, um, and is it someone who can really give you the kind of feedback that you're looking for? So in this case, Casey was looking for feedback on her technical work. In your case, maybe your type of, the type of appreciation you're looking for is not uh, feedback on your specific work, but maybe you want public acknowledgement, right? Or maybe you want uh, your boss's boss. Maybe you want to be on their radar. So the first thing I would do is get really clear on the type of feedback that you're looking for and what kind of feedback would actually make you feel appreciated. And there's no shame in any of this. Like we all need positive feedback. It's just, we just all want to feel seen and recognized. It's a normal universal need. <laughs> so don't feel ashamed. So just get a sense of, what kind of specific appreciation do I want? And who is the most capable person of giving me that based on their interaction with me and my work? You may find like in Casey's example, it's actually a collaborator that can give you more specific feedback on your work. So that's number one, number two. So Casey realized, ah, I should actually be going to my collaborators and asking them for the technical feedback that I'm looking for. Great. Uh, in my other client, uh, let's call her Melissa, Melissa's example, what she found is that uh, she would get tons of technical feedback on her work when she would submit a report, she would get all sorts of markups on her report of things to change or edits to make. And it just felt like she was being attacked in this document. Whenever she would open the document and that she would see all these edits, she would, she would infer that all this stuff is wrong and I'm not doing a good job. And I, I asked her, um, well, you know, what's another way of looking at this? 
And another way of looking at it is like, wow, uh, this manager is so dedicated to my doing a good job that he will spend so much time diligently reviewing my work and giving me, you know, comments. Now, given that, none of the comments were positive. So in Melissa's case, she wanted to get some positive feedback and understand what she was doing well. So in that case, we crafted a script for her to ask her boss for positive feedback. So tip number three is actually ask your boss or manager or colleague or whoever for the kind of feedback that you want. So in Melissa's case, what we said was, hey, I am so grateful for all the, the, the comments and the edits and the time that you're taking to really help me improve my work. I can see the areas where I need to improve. What would also be so helpful for me is to know what is working well and what do you think I'm doing a good job on. That kind of balance really helps me feel more motivated and engaged when I approach a project like this. Otherwise, I just kind of feel like when I, when I get your comments that I'm just doing a bunch of stuff wrong and, and that none of it maybe is, is hitting the mark with you. So it would be so great if when you, uh, after you give me all your comments, if you could just give me three bullet points on you know, what do you think was solid about this work, what you appreciated, or, uh, you know, what's something you just liked? And that's, that's it, man. It's really simple. So one, identify the appropriate person who can actually give you, well, I guess one, identify what kind of feedback will really float your boat. So do you want to be acknowledged publicly? Do you want to be specifically acknowledged to a specific person? Do you want to get um, credit for specific work that you're doing? Do you just want to get positive feedback on what's working well? Um, when do you want to get it? So maybe in your one-on-ones, in a meeting, like really get a clear sense of what is it that I want this? And what kind of positive feedback do I want? Then figure out the right person for it. It's not always your boss. And then the third piece of feedback is to really ask for it, right? And just to let whoever know that, hey, I really appreciate all the hard work and your guidance, um, but I would just, I would also love to know what's going really well. That would make me feel really good and, and, and very motivated. And finally, actually, this is, this, is, uh, this is actually uber important. Um, don't forget that you can give yourself positive feedback, right? So it starts with you. So if there are certain things that are important for you, uh, and, I, and I do this with my clients, we go through what their values are and, and really clarifying their values. Every day I have my clients check in on kind of the three values they're working most diligently at and ask themselves a question on how they delivered on that value to give themselves positive feedback. So think about, you know, areas of growth that you're actively working on. And at the end of the day, ask yourself how you did on it. And you can give yourself positive feedback too. So for example, if you're looking to, uh, be more creative and, and, and use that strength. A question you might ask yourself at the end of the day is, you know, in what ways did I express my creativity today? So you can actually regularly track yourself and give yourself uh, some appreciation if all else fails. <laughs> so I hope that this was helpful and leave me a comment and let me know what are some creative ways that you've actually sought out appreciation um, what's worked what hasn't and uh, yeah and any questions you might have for me thanks